we all have things in our life that give it purpose and um, as we grow older and we have different experiences in our own lives there's certain lessons that we learn that become uh, guiding lights so to speak in your life which keep you on track and make you happy and um, give you certain satisfaction and a purpose and that's different for everybody and um, I just wanted to know if there were certain things in your life, certain lessons, certain experiences, things that you might have gone through in your life that um, are like kind of guiding, pr guiding principles, guiding things that you, you know, relate to in your everyday life. These are what we call anchor points, the anchor points of your life. You know. There's a beautiful thing about truth. The most beautiful thing is that you sit and share it with people. People love to sit and talk about what's true. You can talk about uh, nothing for a long time. You can talk about bullshit for a long time. But when you talk truth, your heart opens and you feel one with the person with whom you're speaking. So at certain points in your life, you may be granted an experience by grace and that experience anchors itself so deeply in your consciousness that it becomes a touchstone an anchor point for your entire existence and for me I remember those anchor points very clearly first one was when I first experienced in my own consciousness that I was not of this earth, that I belong to the heavens, that I come from the heavens, that I return to the heavens, and that this earth is very temporary and is here to be enjoyed to the fullest and to leave the imprint of your consciousness and creativity behind you for others to enjoy and taste. And that experience came through my own meditation. Second was when I met my spiritual teacher, Yogi Bhajan. And I had no idea what a spiritual teacher was. And at that time, we didn't have Guru Granth Sahib. We didn't have Gurudwara. We were just learning yoga and learning to meditate. But I understood in a flash what it means, the relationship between student and teacher, and how you move beyond the experience of your environments and your parents to the next stage of your growth and enlightenment as a human. Because the job of a spiritual teacher is to chisel you and cut away all the dark parts and cut away all the useless parts and cut away all the things that are blocking you so that your light can just shine. It's a very painful process. He used to call it vulturing. You know, a vulture picks the meat from the bones. That's how painful it is. But it's a very unique relationship and it's a relationship of surrender. next turning point in my life was, anchor point was, when I did a yoga class one day, I was in, sitting in a park in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I didn't know anything about Sikhi. And at the end of the meditation, at the end of the class, we did a meditation and I closed my eyes. And immediately I saw in front of me these golden doors. And they were so beautiful golden doors opened and I walked through the golden doors and behind the golden doors was a golden throne and sitting in a golden throne was a man with a very long beard and a very beautiful beautiful face and he was so calm and full of love and peace and he beckoned to me and I walked up to him and he kept beckoning to me and he sat me on his lap and he put his arms around me and he hugged me. And in that hug came a 
feeling of peace that there are no words to describe. And a feeling and understanding that I was guided in my life, protected in my life, and brought to this moment in my life by this loving being. And so after the meditation, I went up to the yoga teacher who was sitting on a sheepskin on the grass in the park. I said, uh, oh, I had this, did this meditation. I saw this gold doors and everything. And I don't know, who is this person? I don't know what this is. I never saw anything like this. And he said, that's Guru Ramdas. I didn't know who Guru Ramdas was. I said, who's Guru Ramdas? He said, he's one of the gurus of the Sikhs. First time I came to Harimandir Sahib and put my head down, I had exactly the same experience. That Guru Ram Das was welcoming me home and holding me in his arms. And I knew that I had been guided and protected and carried through each stage of my life to that moment. And that I belonged to him and that he belonged to me and that we belonged to each other. So I could go on and on, but I just want to say that the basic thing, the thing you check with to say, is this reality or is this illusion? The thing you use to base your decisions on, should I make this choice or that choice? Those things are very fundamental and intimate experiences that are your personal experiences. So you should not compare your experiences to my experiences, because my experiences are the ones I needed in my life to anchor myself. But the experiences that you need to anchor yourself, Guru will give you those experiences, and they will be your experiences. And as difficult as it is to express in words what those experiences are, they become the pivot points that determine 